Hey everyone, welcome to my series on JavaScript and jQuery programming and today's video is about how to add drop down items dynamically using JavaScript and jQuery. In this video we are also going to look at how to use for loops in JavaScript and how to read values out of a text area. So let's begin. So what we have here is a basic HTML form. We have a text area over here, we have a button here and a empty drop down right here. So what's going to happen is we are going to put some values in this text area separated by the enter key and when we click on this uh, button these values are going to populate as drop down items right here in the drop down so any new value that's that gets added over here regardless of the length of the value that gets added to the drop down so let's see how to do this so i'm going to so if you notice in inside the body uh, section i have not added any html markup everything is in javascript so I'm going to delete this uh, entire script section and let's do it from scratch. So all I have is the title and I have the script source for the JavaScript jQuery CDN, sorry, jQuery CDN. Okay, so we start by our JavaScript construct. Send the script tag. Now, the first thing we need to do so I'm not going to refresh this page because uh, I just need to refer these values. Uh, so first thing we need is the text area and then we need a button and then we need our drop down. So we are going to declare an object saying document dot create element and our selector is in this case a text area. And this text area would have uh, rows as 5 and columns as let's say 50 also the text area would have a style property under which the font size would be 20 and style dot display would be block also the margin property would be 20 and let's set the obj to null since we're going to use the same variable again okay now let's just copy this entire thing and paste it over here and in this case we're going to put input and obj dot type equal to button so this is our button control we don't need columns we need font size we need display block and we need margin let's paste it again for the drop down so in this case the selector is select we don't need rows or columns just need font size display margin and obj null so that's it now after every obj null we need to do a document dot body dot append child of that control do it right here and then do it oops sorry we need to do this before the null do it here delete from here and then do it over here that's it let's okay so our text area is created our button is done and our drop down is also done let's put some value in the button so along with margin we need to have a value over here and click to add drop down values and this is our button now at right this moment drop down is blank so moment we enter the values over here separated by enter keys and click on the button they should populate the drop down so which basically means that we need to add a on click event to this button so we're going to declare a function first define the function button underscore on click we can give it any name so what's exactly going to happen here so what we are going to do is we're going to put some values in the text text area saying let's say test one enter key test two enter test three enter test four something like that so all the values are separated by enter key so first thing we need to do is to get the values out of the text area so how do we do that we're going to put a variable str equal to document dot get element 
by id dot value now we don't ha we have not defined any id attribute for the text area so let's define that so obj dot id equal to txt values okay similarly let's put a id element for the button obj dot id equal to btn add values and then let's put a id value for the select as well obj dot id equal to select values now we need the id value of the text area copy that paste it right here and this will give the entire content of the text area to the str element now we're going to use a function in javascript which is the split function so we're going to declare an array value str array equal to str dot split so the value stored in str would be split with the delimiter new line character which is basically the enter key and the individual values will be stored in str array so that's how the split works in javascript if you have a this is just an example if you have a test 1 comma test 2 comma test 3 and if you do a split by comma then the individual values test 1 test 2 and test 3 are stored in an array as array elements so this is exactly what's going to happen only difference is the delimiter is an enter key okay so now our array contains all the individual values so what do we do next we need to loop through this array and get each value so we start a loop let's say variable i equal to 0 i less than str array dot length i plus plus so that's the for loop construct in javascript we are looping a value i where the value of i starts with 0 goes all the way to 1 less than the length of the array and increments the value at each iteration now what do we do for each value of i we need to add that value to the drop down <coughs> In order to add the value to the drop down we need to once again create a option object so a drop down item is defined as a option tag in html so we need to create an option item uh, document dot create element and the selector is option obj dot value equal to so an option has a value property and it also has a text property so the value would be in this case str array with the index i so that's the index of that array value stored at the index of that array and then we have the text property so we have inner text equal to i and then that obj needs to be added to document dot get element by id and we put the id of our drop down which is select values dot append child and we add the obj value over here and right after that we put the obj equal to null so that the next iteration can reinitialize the values now let's see how that works oh i think we have not assigned the on click element on click event to the button so what we're going to do is we're going to put a on click right here on click equal to and we are going to put the function name here okay so there was a small typo over here it should be on click that wasn't spelled properly let me just go back to the page refresh this and put the values test 1 test 2 test 3 click on that and the drop down contains the values now let's try to add a new value test 4 and the drop down should contain this value as well when we click on the button it says test 1 test 2 test 3 and then again 1 2 3 and 4 why is this happening because on every click of this button we need to clear this drop down of the previous values and then add the fresh values so when the function starts the first thing we need to do is to clear the drop down so for that what we're going to do is create a length variable where we are going to store the current length of the drop down so get element by id select values dot options dot length so we're going to store how many current items are present in the drop down at this point and then 
we're going to start a loop where i equal to 0 length minus 1 i greater than or equal to 0 i minus so we're going to start we are starting an inverse uh, inverted loop over here we are starting with the length and then uh, decreasing the value of i uh, till the i reaches the value 0 and for each iteration what we're going to do is we're going to call the remove function and delete the item at position i now why did we do an inverted loop over here because each time we delete this element the element of the second row becomes the first element the third becomes second the fourth becomes third and so on so the index value changes every time we start deleting from the beginning till the end so that's why instead of doing it from the top down we do it from the bottom up so let's see the result now refresh this test one test two test three and the value comes here and we add a new value test four click on this and the value comes here there is no duplicate so now it's working perfectly fine so let's go back and look at our code what did we do here so at the beginning we added a text area element then we added a input element uh, we assigned the on click property to our function then we assigned a we added a select element a drop down element and in the button click function the first thing that we did is we cleared our drop down of all the values we picked up the length and starting from the length value till all the way to zero in the descending order we removed the items one by one and then we took the entire content of the text area split the content by new line and stored as an array looped through the array and for each element in the array we added those elements as option values in the drop down so that is how we dynamically added the values of this text area as items in this drop down now let's try the same thing using jquery let's go back to our code okay so let's uh, start by clearing the entire content of javascript on the way to the script tags and initiate the construct for jquery so start by our document dot ready function inside that we need to add few elements to the HTML so inside the body we do a append and since there are three controls let's just have three append statements on the first append statement we need to have a text area which has a closing tag as well text area and the attributes we need to have a rows attribute which has value 5 we have a calls attribute with value 50 and we need to have a ID attribute with the value txt values also we need to have a style attribute with uh, display as block margin as 10 font size as 20 that should do it now for the button we need to have an input type button value is click to add drop down values and we can have an ID value as well let's say btn add values and that should be it and at last we need a select element over here id is values and that has ending tag as well now okay so i need a I need to just copy this style attribute and paste it for the button and the select and now okay so this is done and this is our page three elements created text area draw, button and the drop down now we need to have a click on click element uh, on click event defined for the button so we go with the id 
which is btn add values since it's id so we start with the pound symbol and we put a click function and we start our action right here so within the click event we need to clear the values of the drop down that's the first thing we need to do so we start with the id of the drop down which is this and we go for a inner html sorry in this case it's just html and we put blank so that takes care of clearing the drop down values and now we need to add values to the drop down so which will come from the values entered in the text area so once again we need to have a variable and we need the content of the text area so once again we go with the id which is text values and we go with dot value sorry dot val so that brings the entire text to the variable once again we create a array and we do a split using new line and the loop remains same we put a loop over here i less than str array dot length i plus plus now for each <coughs> iteration of this loop for each value that comes out of the text area which is separated by the enter key we need to append that value as a option to our drop down element so we do a append over here and in the html markup we just write the markup for the option element so option value equal to and in this case we use plus to concatenate values and the value is str array of i and the single quotation and put the closing tag over here and in between we need to put the str array i so that's the visible text now let's save it and go back to our form let's put some values test 1 test 2 test 3 click on that and we can see that the values are getting populated let's just add a value test 4 click on this and the fourth element is also added so this is how using javascript and jquery we can actually populate uh, drop down values dynamically by picking up text from either it it could be text area it could be excel source doesn't matter so just try it out on your own and if you face any issues just let me know in the comment section i'll be happy to help you out or post a video for you thank you